Yes, you, we are still I don't know whose idea it was, but when the album was being recorded in Berlin, it was just after the reunification of Germany, and people were starting to discard their trip ants at the side of the road. We arrived there just as that whole German, you know, tearing down the wall and the two sides getting together and all that. It was, it was quite a trip, really. And got, and got the idea for the Trabants. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. The Trabants thing, I don't know quite where that came from. Probably Anton Corbin, his uh, rather Beckett-like sense of humour, probably. Having photographed the album sleeve and, and gone through the whole process of, of um, starting it up with... Um, the Trabant, which um, before it gets written into history as being U2's idea, was my idea. But Edge, um, Edge's idea was to paint it, which uh, you know, is um, at least half the idea, I guess. Can we show Larry how to drive a Trabant? Morning, gentlemen. That's a lot you should say, isn't it? When we were in Berlin, I really thought the Trabant. But I like playful things. It was a playful thing, a visual element. It also stood for uh, the way I saw this, um, the fall of the East. I don't know, actually. Um, something to do with the script, which I haven't read, but I just got up this morning and they put me in it. Yo, here we go. I woke up in the clothes I went to bed in. shop. As you see over here, there's a range of bright colours that you can replace on your Trabant. Quality control. Now if it were raining, this would be soft. Some of them melt in the rain, did you know that? And here are some of the actual legendary duroplast body panels. This one, as you can see, has been in the rain for a while, and it's actually soft. Look, my thumb goes in. And if you look over here at the edge, you can see the extraordinary construction. It's basically made of sawdust and cotton wool and some kind of resin. Amazing. The truth is, there's probably more metal in this little fella than there is in the whole car. <laughs>
songs will re-emerge. I want to ask you about a song on the, the War album, the third U2 album. And the song is Sunday Bloody Sunday, which was originally your idea to confront the issue of violence in Northern Ireland. Do you have any comment to make about the recent IRA bombings in London? Well, um, there's, there's been a lot of bombs in London over the years, and that's not to take away from the significance of, of what the latest atrocities, but what is more significant is the fact that Jerry Adams, who um, is a member of the Sinn Féin party, a party that does not um, speak out against violence, but advocates violence. The political wing of the Irish Republican Army in Northern Ireland. He's just been voted out, so that's kind of more significant. Beyond that, I don't really have a comment, but uh, I think it's very good news. Okay. All right, we're going to take a look at a video from Gavin Friday, former lead singer of the Virgin Prunes, who you know from a while back, is that right? Yeah, he's from Dublin. Gavin's um, been doing some quite different stuff recently, and it's, it's really good. Okay, well, here it is. Gavin Friday, and what's the name of the video? It's called King of Trash. Here it is. It's from Gavin Friday, who worked with you on uh, one of the songs you play in your live set. Is that right? That's right. He did some backing vocals on Satellite of Love. The Lou Reed cover. That's right, yeah. My voice didn't go down that low, so Gavin came in and did some stuff. This leg of the Zoo TV tour has another, what, couple of weeks to go, and then you coming back? We've got about another four or five shows in America, then we go to Europe and we do some indoor stuff, and then we'll be back here in the summer, probably about another 12 weeks around America.